In this episode, I will be showing you how I made this bench. Hello and welcome. I am Kim, and together with my three dogs, Turok, Bobby, and Pilu, I have taken on the challenge of converting my sprinter van into a camper van for us to travel Europe in. Come along, as we say yes to new van ventures. For my bench, I use an old mattress. It turned out to be a mattress with springs in it, so I could only use the outside foam and the mattress cover. I cut the pieces of the mattress to side and placed it on a piece of wood. Then I got a piece of the cover of the mattress and covered the entire thing to keep everything nice and secure together. Once I had everything in the place I wanted it to be, I could start stapling the fabric onto the wood. I'm using an old mattress today because I love repurposing things that I have laying around to create new projects. I had never made a bench from scratch before and I'm super excited that I'm making this bench. The finished result is awesome. I was learning as I go. You will see that sometimes I make mistakes that I have to correct, but this is a learning process and I'm absolutely loving it. It took me a little while to figure out what to do with the corners. I decided to cut a piece of the fabric out so that if I would fold it, it wouldn't get all bulky and not look nice in the end. I had bought a piece of fabric online, I will link it below in my description and I chose this fabric because I absolutely love the color and the way it's popping with the green in my van. It is faux suede so there are no animals harmed in the process of creating my awesome bench. As you can see, I got a crayon and I am lining out the shapes that I'm going to be needing to cut out to sew the corners together and get nice seams. Because this is my first time creating a bench, it took me a little while to figure out that I was going to cut these pieces out. And it was also very scary to do because I wasn't sure I was doing it right, but it turned out that YouTube is my friend and there's a lot of videos about this. So the professionals were instructing me what to do. And yeah, so I started cutting my fabric. So these outside corners are excess fabric. So I cut them out and started stitching them together. First I pin the two pieces together to keep them in place and then I will be sewing them. And I'm very happy that my mother has a sewing machine that she would let me borrow because this makes life a lot easier. So thank you mom! Once I cut and sewed all the corners together I had this awesome part that it would just fit snug and I was so excited about how it was turning out and I decided to cut a little bit of the white fabric because there was a little bit excess and it was gonna get more bulky and I wanted it to fit snug so I cut a little bit of the white off and then it was time to start stapling the brown fabric and this I'm so excited that I did this and I never thought I would make a bench looking this awesome I thought it would be like a nice bench but I'm super excited with how it turned out and I'm not a professional this is the first time I've done this but I am super proud of the way it's looking what I absolutely love about making my videos and watching other people's videos is the process of having an idea and then creating this project that you wanted to make even though it's only in your mind at first and like this bench I've never made a bench I kind of knew how to do it because I've seen it here and there 
or I had looked at a chair before so I thought okay you have to sew this stuff but what I do what just makes me so happy is that I visualized this bench and then I started doing it and as I went along I got better and better and better at doing it it just it's just so amazing and I'm just so excited about it so for everyone that's watching that's like I would like to make a bench sometime but I'm not sure if I can do it just do it I went uh, wrong a couple of times so I just made some mistakes, but I just corrected it. If I put a staple somewhere that I didn't have to put there, I just took it out. If I, Well, the only thing that would have been crappy if, it, if I would have cut the uh, brown fabric too far because I only had this one piece. But even then, I would have just ordered a new piece. Like, I could have done that. I just didn't want to do that. And the stuff from the mattress, at first I cut the wrong piece. But, you know... Just make mistakes and learn as you go. It doesn't have to be perfect right away. Just don't give up. Just keep on going. Look at how happy I'm <laughs> looking with the way this is turning out. I'm so excited about this video. So once I was super excited with the way the seat was looking, I decided to make a back part as well because I had some brown fabric left. I had some wood laying around. I had this mattress that I was cutting up anyway. So I decided to cut some more of the top of the mattress, which is just a thin piece of foam. And then get the white fabric that I just had loads of hanging around now because I had cut the entire mattress to pieces. The only thing I did different was I did not cut out the side pieces and sewed it together because this is such a thin piece of foam, I could just fold it over and staple it onto the wood. By the way, this video has been shot inside my house and I just noticed that there's a mattress on the floor and I can imagine you guys thinking, why is there a random mattress lying on the floor? This is because this mattress was laying here just a couple of days for me to be taking it out and my dog started using it and they sleep on it and they <laughs> use it all the time. So it's their mattress now and it just stays there. If this is something that resonates with you and you do this all the time for your dogs or cats too, please let me know. I'm super excited to hear about your experiences with this. This is just things the way things go in my house. I put something on the floor, they start using it. That's their place now. And this is how it's turning out and I'm super happy about it. Look how happy I am. To attach it, I use these Velcro stickers that I attached onto the piece of wood. Then I put it in place, pressed it against the wall and then it just got snug there. And I didn't attach it any other way with any screws or anything so I can always take it off if I need to. Now this is the bench looking in total and I absolutely love it. But as you can see, my toilet is on the there and I still have to fix that. So I got a piece of 12 millimeter MDF wood and I attached it, put some filler in there, sanded it down and then started painting it. Now I already had this toilet. I had made this prior to when I had another trip. So if anybody wants me to explain how I had made that toilet, please comment down below and I will make sure to make a video about it. And this is the final result and it is so awesome. I have my own toilet with me. It is snug, put away, you can't see it. It has a divider for the liquids and the solids. I use compostable bags and sawdust so I can just compost everything that I need to. And there's a little magnet on there to keep it in place. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. When I started cutting up my mattress and making this bench, I did not think the result was going to be this amazing. If you could give me a like, that would be amazing. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made my bedside table, which is made from a tree branch. And in the meantime, don't forget to say yes to new adventures.